What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show a more in-depth tutorial on how to sponge camo a rifle or pretty much anything that you want to. Um, my first video wasn't as detailed as I originally planned it to be. I realized I'd edited out a lot of key features such as the actual sponging which uh, I'm going to cover more clearly in this video. But I'm going to be changing up this camo pattern a little bit. So now I'm going to degrease the gun again to get it all residue of any kind of cleaning agents off of it so the paint will stick pretty good to it again. Okay, now that it's degreased, it's looking pretty rough, huh? Well, it's about to get the first coat on it. It's going to start looking good again. Looking good. Spray a good amount of paint in the corner. Take your piece of sponge. Try not to inhale too much. It might come out funky, but you can see it's just dabbing it right up and getting it right on the sponge. use any kind of pattern that you like. I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination and you don't have to be. Alright, already I'm really happy with the way this is coming out. This color scheme I think is on point. Looks great. Alright, let's add some army green. Same process. See that came out the first sponging might come out a little thick. So I'm glad I did it on that buffer tube that's gonna be covered up because now that the excess came off, now it should get that real nice texture. Yep, just how I want it. Of course, sometimes the, the large splotches don't look bad either. I mean, that's why this is my favorite method of camoing, because it's, it's just so foolproof. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look good at the end. I think the hardest part is deciding when to stop. Because I know with a lot of things, there's a fine line between getting it just right and overdoing it. One thing you can try if you do feel like you went a little overboard in one area is just spray some of the base coat like I have the, the army green or I'm sorry the deep forest green just spray that and sponge that on in the areas and it's kinda like you know using an erasing tool in a way. Okay let it dry for a little bit and I'm gonna put this matte clear coat on.
All right, that clear coat left some strange white substance on it. I hope that um, when it dries, that goes away. Interesting. Here it is all finished. Came out great. Only thing uh, I have to say bad about it is that Rust-Oleum clear coat. First of all, it didn't come out matte like it said it was supposed to, and it came out a semi-gloss. You can see the difference between the PMAG that wasn't clear coated and the rest of the rifle. There's a little bit of sheen to it, but I can't be that all upset about it because it looks awesome. Also, that white glaze that I was talking about from the clear coat, it faded a little bit when it dried, but I can still tell that it's there. So I probably won't be using Rust-Oleum clear coat again. Perhaps I'll try a, you know, Krylon or whatever. But maybe it was the humidity. It was probably higher than the recommended humidity when I applied it. So maybe that was the problem. Who knows? But overall, very happy with it. Looks great.